Hi, I'm Sean Payton, head coach of the New Orleans Saints. As many of you know, I was diagnosed with COVID-19 a month and a half ago and have been fortunate enough to have fully recover. Many people across our country and across the world have not been as fortunate. My thoughts and prayers go out to all of those who have lost loved ones during this extremely difficult time. To all of our first responders, healthcare providers, and essential workers, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. You are the heroes who will get our country through this. Sean Payton knows firsthand what COVID-19 can do, and here he was donating plasma on Monday to help COVID-19 patients. As you know, Payton was the first person within the NFL family to be diagnosed with COVID-19. People who've recovered from COVID-19 have begun donating their plasma because their antibodies may help other patients fight off the disease. And there's a sign outside our campus here on Bristol saying thank you to frontliners and the first responders. So we take a look at the New Orleans Saints as there is the fully recovered Sean Payton getting set to figure out what they're going to do with the 24th selection in the first round. And, uh, you know, they've had so much heartbreak over the last three seasons. Uh, the last three postseasons, they've lost games on which the winning points in that game were scored on the final play of the game. They've had some losses in the secondary. They did pick up Emmanuel Sanders, uh, getting him over in free agency after he was let go by San Francisco. So where will the Saints go? What are we thinking about the possibilities here for them? Lewis Reddick, what are you thinking? I think, Trey, they need playmaking ability at the second level of their defense at linebacker. So we see Kenneth Murray go off the board. Patrick Queen is there now. Their linebackers weren't very productive in terms of tackles across the league, in terms of pass breakups, forced fumbles. They really struggled in this area. So could they use a playmaking linebacker who can roam sideline to sideline on that defense to go along with a very good defensive front and an improving secondary? Absolutely. This is a team that's ready to challenge. They can really just take best player available. And Patrick Queen may be sitting there staring right at him. All right, the pick is in. Let's find out where New Orleans goes with the 24th pick in the first round of the 2020 draft. With the 24th pick in the 2020 NFL draft, the New Orleans Saints select Cesar Ruiz, center, Michigan. So there you see the very emotional reaction from Cesar Ruiz. He said a few years ago he was born to play center, and while that is his preference, he would do whatever is needed. And he is going through this draft process with a very, very heavy heart, who you don't see in the picture there with Cesar Ruiz is his father, Cesar Edwin Ruiz. 31 career starts at Michigan. He's dedicated his career to his father, who in December of 21 pulled over on the side of a road, Route 55 in South Jersey, to help another car whose driver was trying to change a flat tire. He was then struck and killed by a driver who reportedly fled the scene of the accident. His father was 26 at the time. Ruiz was only eight years old, and he said he knows his father would one day be proud of the man he is today. And that's why the reaction is there for Cesar Ruiz going to the New Orleans Saints, the emotion hitting him. This is some of the best part of what makes the draft the draft. Dreams fulfilled and thinking so often about those who are not there to be with them in this time. Mel Kuyper, simply as a player, what are the Saints getting in Cesar Ruiz? Versatility, Trey. You got a guy who started at guard, five starts at right guard early on, then the last two years anchoring that Michigan Wolverine line. Appeared in 36 games, 31 career starts, 26 at center, five at right guard. Think about a guy as a run blocker. He went head up, we're on the move, he can pull, he gets to the second level. Pass protection, good technique, feet, face, he can mirror, he can re anchor. Steve you know, talked about versatility. I think that's the key here is the ability to fill a hole at center or guard, DJ. Cesar Reeves clearly the best center in the draft. As a guard, you could argue he was one of the top guys at that spot. I think it's a nice pick for a team that in the interior of the offensive line with a veteran quarterback nearing the end of a great career for Drew Brees. Get a guy like Cesar Ruiz to help the interior. 
Yeah, Mel, I thought he was a top interior offensive lineman in this draft, regardless. You're talking about center or guard. He's just very firm, and you mentioned Drew Brees. Drew Brees has always required that up front. I just find it fascinating that last year they went and got a center in Eric McCoy, who played very well last year. And now you bring another player with the versatility to play a couple different spots there. Uh, Lewis, the Saints will just continue to reinvest in the middle of that offensive line. It served them well. Yeah, remember back in their heyday, as far as offensive lines were concerned, when they had Jari Evans and Carl Nix at the offensive guard positions. Why? Just as you alluded to, DJ, to make sure that the pocket stayed secure. This just fortifies the interior of their offensive line. If Cesar has the ability to play two positions and he can move over and slide over to guard and Eric McCoy can stay at center, it just fortifies this team inside out, which is a great fundamental way to build your roster. And really, they just took best player available for them. And you got you to gotta give them credit for the pick here. Yeah, Lewis, just so you know, I love what Ruiz had to say about his confidence. If you look at the film, look how I dominate people. I am very confident that I am a first-round pick. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the pick. NFL Draft begins Thursday, April 23rd on ESPN and ABC.